Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, I'm taking you with me to Bangor, Maine, home to Stephen King. While I was in Bangor, Maine, I took a Stephen King tour with SK Tours, and they took us around to 30 different locations that inspired Stephen King's works or areas that he lived with his family, and we got to learn a lot about how he gave back to the town of Bangor, and we got to see his house. His house is incredible. So if you're interested in seeing my trip and seeing all of that, and you want to see Stephen King's house up close and personal, I mean, not that up close and personal. I was behind a gate. So if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned. <laughs> It is Sunday, May 15th, I believe, and today is the day we're going on our Stephen King tour around Bangor, Maine. We're taking an actual tour with a tour guide who's gonna take us around to 30 locations where Stephen King's works were inspired or places where he worked, and we're also gonna see his house, which I'm really excited about. I've heard great things about this tour. I know we're gonna see a sewer grate that inspired it. We're gonna see the standpipe. We're gonna see the cemetery where he was inspired to write Pet Cemetery. I'm wearing my Stephen King It book cover shirt, and I brought a yellow raincoat because I plan on taking a photo in it by the sewer grate, the IT sewer grate, and we'll see how this goes. I'm really excited. Um, I'm excited to take you along. Hopefully it's enjoyable for you, and yeah, I'll touch base soon. He said, if you're going to make Pet Cemetery, you're using my screenplay. And then he says, and you're going to film it in my state.
where Georgie's name came from, off this headstone right here. That's so cool, Georgie, isn't it? Oh, okay. He's the little boy that gets his arm ripped off at the beginning. Oh, uh, all right, okay. Yeah. Carrie came off a headstone, but we know her as Carrie White. Carrie White, so wow. I do that. I love that. Right. Isn't that nice? Now remember when Brian De Palma made the movie Carrie, and at the end, the arm comes up out of the ground and grabs? Yeah. yeah. He scared the woods out of everybody, right? <laughs> he was the first person. Steve said, Stu, I got people taking the tour today. Keep it to yourself. My dad's like, oh, interesting. My dad gave a tour to Barbara and Andy. Who made chapters one and two of it in the movies. Before they were, before they finalized the conversation, before they signed everything, my dad gave them a tour. And Steve didn't want anyone to know that they were in the Bronx, right? Secret, right? And Barbara says, what's that right there? We had to pull over. They threw themselves off the cliff hand in hand to their death in protest. Let them sleep. Every New England town with a river and a cliff has the same story. Barbara looked at it, she goes, I want to put that in the movie. It's too expensive. Barbara said, no, I'm doing it anyway. She was in charge of chapter one. Andy said, no, again. He said, Steve, Stephen King fans don't like it when you stray from the book. And they're right. Welcome to the Barons. The Barons. Thank you. 
bird bath, it's all base. Yeah. If you could get the tower, that was a home run. I don't think the city appreciated that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a miracle we didn't break one of these windows. I guess you weren't that good. I really wasn't. Oh! Because this is the tour, this is the vehicle for the public tours. Okay. Uh, so yeah. they, they don't get the same interaction we get. So I'm creating a slideshow of movie clips and, and all that so they could watch while I drive. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Andy gave us permission to use the new Pennywise when my dad gave them the tour. Oh! Yeah. And this is the one I chose. I said, Dad, you've got to put this on the back. That's awesome. Because imagine driving up and being stuck behind me yeah. in traffic with, with Pennywise looking at you. That's awesome. Yeah, that's fun right there. Yeah. Now you see that sculpture right there? Yes. That was originally a 300 year old ash tree. And the top of it was rotted and bug infested. So they cut the top off so it wouldn't fall on the house. But for six years it was a 30 foot tall stump. Wow. So we all knew it would be something someday, right? I thought it was going to be a 30 foot tall Pennywise with balloons. <laughs> I said I wanted a 30 foot tall Tim Curry Pennywise with balloons. That would That's have been really cool, cool though. My dad wanted it to be a huge dark tower. Right? Tab the oak classes off, <laughs> as usual. She told the artist, I want something coming from, returning to, living in nature. I want books, and I want king references. <sighs> Look at this side though. I've never wanted to jump this fence so much in my life. Because <laughs> I do, I want to get to that stupid sculpture. That is awesome. When Steve bought the house, there was no fence. But Steve needs a fence. Yeah. And it should be taller. And there should be a moat. So he found a guy in southern Maine, a blacksmith who shoes horses. He said, hey, can you build me a fence that matches a beautiful Victorian mansion? Oh the guy said, God. yeah, I can do that. And then he goes, hey, can you make me a, a gate that matches Stephen King? And the guy said, I'll make you two. There are two gates. Now this first gate here is the one you've come to see. Yes. The next gate near the fence, near the driveway, do not go in the driveway. The, next, the one next to the driveway, another walking gate, I made a three-headed dragon in the front. That's my favorite piece. Oh so my take God. some time, enjoy it, soak it all in. Oh That's my fun. God, I love I'm this. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. I've been dreaming about seeing these these gates for like years. Yeah.
from Maine and I thought I'd give you a little summary of my Stephen King tour. So on Sunday I took a private uh, Stephen King tour with the Stephen King tours of Maine and it was incredible. We It was just me, my mom, and I got to bring my dog Barlow and the tour guide and his name was Jamie Tinker. So this family has been doing the tours, the Stephen King tours around Maine for the last 10 years and they do tours 365 days out of the year and they're super knowledgeable about Stephen King's life, all of the f charitable work that he and his wife Tabitha have done for the town of Bangor, Maine over the years and he they know all of the locations where Stephen King was inspired to write some of his stories and so the tour kind of takes you through Stephen King's life and they show you different areas that inspired his work like we got to go to Mount Hope Cemetery which was the inspiration for Pet Cemetery and that cemetery I believe the Pet Cemetery film was filmed at this cemetery and Stephen King is a reverend in that when he's performing the uh, funeral for Gage, I believe. I ha they gave this little handy uh, tour guide book that really goes into everything that they cover along the tour in a little bit more detail. There's so much history in the town of Mangor and I love that Stephen King 
got his inspiration from the location that he grew up most of his life. Another thing we got to see was the Barons, which I liked I liked getting to learn a little bit history of the Barons. The Barons are featured heavily throughout it, the book, um, which is where all the kids hang out. That's where the infamous rock fight happens. We got to see the bridge that is infamous for Adrian Mellon's death, which is the start of the book, and that's, that's what brings all the losers back to Derry when they're older, 27 years later. And this was actually inspired by a real event. A young man named Charlie Howard, who was 23, he was attacked by three teenagers for being gay, and they threw him over the bridge, and he died. It was really interesting to hear that story because I didn't know Adrian Mellon represented a real person and that that was a real event. Now they honor Charlie at that ridge every year during Pride Month, I believe. Yeah, it, it's just, it, it's interesting facts like that I wouldn't have known had I not taken this tour. So that's really, it's really cool to find this, the, the backstory behind the town. We got to see the area where Stephen King and his family first lived. Uh, they were really dirt poor and they were really struggling to survive and to live before Stephen King hit it big. It's just amazing to learn the struggles that they went through and to see Tabitha support her husband so much and support his writing and I really think that the support between those two is really what kept them going and it's what made Stephen King become Stephen King because if she didn't encourage his writing and support him and pull Carrie out of the trash, maybe he wouldn't be here today. Like, maybe we, we wouldn't know Stephen King as we know him today. It's really a rags to riches story, but they have given so much back to Bangor. They they donated so much money to the children's hospital. They redid the, the children's wing and they put in uh, beautiful artwork for the children and I believe they donated tons of books for the hospital hospital library. They opened up a Ronald McDonald house there. It's just incredible the stuff that those two have done for the town with with their money. And I just love I just love that. I love knowing that there's such good people and that becoming rich and famous didn't really change them that much in a bad way. It uh, really allowed them to give back to the place that they call home. And we got to see Stephen King's house, which is amazing. It is the most magical place on earth for horror fans. It's insane. When you see it, it just doesn't even, it's just beautiful. It is the most beautiful house I've ever seen. It is the coolest thing ever. And I guess they don't live there anymore, but they have turned the house into a nonprofit, which I believe I don't really know a ton about it, but I guess people can go there if they're doing research. I'm, I'm assuming it's research related to Stephen King's works, and I think there's a writer-in-residence program at the home or the guest house. The guest house is huge. It's literally another mansion that is next door because they bought the house next door, and it's just incredible. It's amazing. And there you have it. That is everything I did in Maine over the weekend. I had an amazing time in Bangor getting to uh, visit the Holy Land, which is uh, Stephen King's house, and I got some books. I ate a lot of good food, a lot of good whoopie pies, because I guess they're known for whoopie pies out there. And yeah, I cannot recommend going to Bangor and taking the SK tour if you are a fan of Stephen King. It was magical. It was everything I hoped it would be, and I learned so much, and I just have so much more respect for Stephen King and his wife and his family and I'm just excited to continue reading his books. Um, I have a lot more to go but yeah I, I had an amazing time and I wanted to thank you guys for joining me and watching along. Uh, let me know have you ever been to Bangor? Have you done the Stephen King tour? Have you seen his house? Uh, let me know down below and I'll leave all my social links down below so we can connect the, on there and become spooky besties and talk about spooky shit and I'll catch you next time guys. Thanks for watching.